welcome into the ring from Sudbury, Darren McKenna. for the huge amounts of support I need me to tell you that the majority who are still here are here to cheer the next man coming to the ring please welcome into the ring from Enfield Frank Frank Bullioni fans here to greet the hero. Big ticket seller, certainly looks the part, and he can bang. Never gone past six rounds, and here tonight in his eighth professional contest, the handsome Anglo Italian Frank Bullioni. contest sponsored by Betfred and Raymond Steel this evening is eight three minute rounds in the super middleweight division. Firstly weighing in Torstone one pounds and eight ounces that's 169 and a half pounds fighting under the red corner wearing the black shorts his record reads two wins seven losses one draw with two KOs from Sudbury Darren McKenna and across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue and white shorts, weighing in 11 stone, 8 pounds, 8 ounces, that's 162 and a half pounds, with an unbeaten record of 7 wins, with 5 KOs to his name. Please welcome, from Enfield, Frank Bullion! Your referee in charge of the action is Bob Williams of Watford, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, lads, if I'm not commanded, the knockdown of Fighter Stanley, it goes in further scoots of Conor Stanley. Defend yourselves at all times, touch the objects. Ladies and gentlemen, eight three minute rounds. He's got a slick publicity machine behind him, Frank Bullioni. He's got his own website, calls himself the wise guy. He's a good lad, and he can also fight a bit. First round. Darren McKenna, in only his 11th professional fight. He's normally a light heavyweight. He's lost four of his last five. He was last out on March the 15th when he lost a four-rounder on points to Joel McIntyre. But three of those last four losses have only been by a point, John. And he's been boxing the hometown fight that he's at. He's better than what his record suggests, is Darren McKenna. Obviously, Bullion is obviously the favourite. Well, Bullion, you sense, kind of needs rounds, doesn't he? He's not learning anything by just going over and bowling people over. Three times he's been a one-round winner. Yeah, and he started off quite well, hasn't he, Bullion again behind the jab. It's his first eight-rounder, this. Kind of landed with a good right hand left up there. And again, nice little one two from McKenna. Good 
good work though by Humpalioni. Nice speed in his work. And moving his head after the combination, which is good to see. Humpalioni was the subject of a six page feature in Loaded magazine. I guess you'd have seen that. <laughs> no one I subscribe to, I'm afraid. Good jab in there, though, from Bullioni. He has the faster hands of the two. So he should punch first. Products of the famous Repton Club, Frank Bullioni. Box for England as well. Yeah, he's moving his head more to, tonight than he usually does. It's obviously something they've been working on in the gym. He's offensively superb. The criticism is that his defence is not always great, but moving the head when you're going forward is a good thing. Product of uh, Mark and Jimmy Tibbs, of course, Frank Bullioni. Oh, good right, right, hand. right hand. That's the one which that's the one which people reckon he's open to. And McKenna's really going for it, isn't he? Swinging from the rafters. There's a, there's a few who think that uh, Bullioni's been overhyped and that he's uh, got a, a little bit of a painful lesson to learn somewhere along the line. Maybe Darren McKenna is part of those who agree with that sort of theory. Well, one thing you've shown to McKenna, he'll keep trying. And that he is, and he's had some success already in this round. But for me, Bullioni's dominated beyond that jab. Comes from the Jim Evans stable, Darren McKenna. And Jim has been in the game many a year. Michael Sprott, of course, the man who he's been alongside for well, well over 10 years now. We're yeah, talking yeah. now something like 16 years, isn't it? And Sprott's last fight against Hellenius was uh, was interesting, wasn't it? With um, Jim Evans in the corner. Just showing some of Bully on his head, good work to the body. And again, the, the superior hand speed, catching McKenna on the counter with the jab. It's that right hand. And that is what Bullioni is susceptible to, is a big right hand over the top. And McKenna's quite heavy handed, so he has to be aware of what's coming back. Bullioni, but I, I just give him that round. Well, I didn't just give it, I give it to him by a, by a decent margin. But there were some danger signs there from Darren McKenna. Corners, 10 seconds. Boxes are building surveyor away from boxing. Works for his dad's company. Dad Ralph will be here somewhere at ringside, I'm sure. We're kind of trying to walk forward, but he needs to dip his shoulders a little bit like he just tried to do there but do it on the front foot he's keep moving his head not be a stationary tag for Bullioni and a pretty similar tactic for Bullioni as well Just when McKenna was having a little bit of success, landed with a few good body shots there. He's got power, Bullioni, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You can see it, can you? His shoulders are massive. And you can hear it, can you, when the punches land? Yeah, he's improving. He's a, he's a work in progress. I read uh, Colin, my mate Colin Hart's. Uh, oh. oh, hello. That was a oh. better from Darren McKenna. Two good left hooks, and again from McKenna. I was about to say, Colin Hart wrote a feature about him, didn't he, in his column in the uh, in the Sun, and he said that he thought that he had all the attributes. And Colin's been around a few years. So. Those who uh, think that Bullioni's going to fall by the wayside at some stage, he's not one of them, or at least not in the foreseeable future. That's a good shot, good left hand. Oh, he felt that one. Big left hook, and McKenna really felt that. Another one here. He's going to put him away. Oh, look at that for a fight back from McKenna, the big left hook again. Could be ending here in the second round. That left hook really shook McKenna's resolve. Look at this, though. Look at this for a fight back. 
That's brave. That's brave because he looked as though he was about to go, didn't he? Yeah, he really did. That body shot took a lot out of him, and again, another one, another one, Bullioni. But I like the way Frank has kept his composure. Hasn't panicked. And he's relaxing over the shots, isn't he? Bullioni. Oh, that's that left hook again. And once more, McKenna's felt that. <laughs> you wouldn't think it, though, would you? Look at this. Oh, cracking right hand from McKenna. Bullioni's taking some shots in this round. And to be fair, he's taking them well, hasn't he? Oh. Interesting to hear what uh, Mark Tibbs has got to say to Frank Bullioni at the end of that. Had his moments when he really delivered. Darren McKenna looked as though he was going to go at one point. Yeah, he did. He didn't bravely stay on his feet, didn't he? And also falls back. And he lost his shape. All you've got to do is hold your shape and punch straight. They were the two crunching body shots, weren't they? And that's he, he almost folded over right there. Almost bent over in, in wincing in pain. And then moments later, John, we're going to see it here, the fight back from McKenna. Well, you said he's got a big heart, and he's certainly shown that already. Oh, he's been tremendous, hasn't he? Landed with some big right hands. Yeah. There's a good yeah. one there. And, and look how well Bullioni took that mind. Yeah, he's focused now. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus 10 seconds. Yeah. Nice and sharp. Good stuff. little scrap this, John. Second out, round three. Third round, eight round up. Bullioni's taken both rounds on my card, yeah. agreed, yeah? Oh, yeah, most definitely, yes. We well, McKenna had a good fight back in that round, but you know, he was hurt, and Bullioni had the majority of the, of the play. from Bullioni, just needs to keep placing that jab out. Don't let McKenna get close enough to land with that right hand. Still very much in the learning phase, Frank Bullioni. Did you know There'll come a point, of course, when he's has to be stepped up towards championship level and then he'll be coming up against the guys with the winning records. Of course, but everything at your own pace, isn't it? You can't judge him by some other prospects who are going on maybe quicker than he is. Well, he's only he's still only 23. And for light heavyweights, that's a baby, isn't it? Well, my weight is different. But for his weight, well, he's hurt McKenna again there with the right hand. Oh, there we go, right hand, down again. He finds the shots, doesn't he? He did. Just caught McKenna coming forward, didn't he? Just when he was under a bit of pressure. I don't think McKenna's getting up. He's not. It's all over. Frank Bullioni's done it again. In the third round, finds the knockout shot. And Darren McKenna counted out. He had to take a few tonight, Frank Bullioni. But he has that intangible punching power, doesn't it? Timing, speed, he's got it. And I think he was good tonight, wasn't he, Bullioni? Never, never got flustered, never rushed his work, never got flustered under pressure. And he was under plenty of pressure from McKenna. McKenna's heavy-handed, landed with some good right hands. But Bullioni kept his composure and caught McKenna with a right hand, I think it was, as he was coming forward. Oh, it was a le well, the left hook really didn't no, matter. There was a left, and then the, yeah. the, there was a right. It's kind of, kind of round. It was that left. It was yeah. that left hook. Yeah, on the right on the temple, wasn't it? Yeah. Left as he came in, yeah. and then sort of the right was helping him down there. And that's that's the advantage when you're a big puncher. You can punch off the back foot or the front foot, and and it was just as a moment that McKenna was coming on strong. Oh, he's brave as anything, wasn't he, McKenna tonight? He got, heard caught, a he few got caught times. on. The, he got caught on the forehead. Actually, it wasn't yeah. the temple. But he got caught coming forward, so it was double the weight, if you like, isn't it? It was a heavy shot. There we go. Frank Bullioni now, eight out of eight. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 36 seconds of the third round, Darren McKenna has failed to beat the referee's count.
the winner in the blue corner from Enfield, Frank Bugliani. Smiles all round. The upward progress continues, still undefeated. And those, of course, are Frank Bugliani's fans. Good night out, and Frank Bullioni providing a, another victory, although he had his moments in there. Uh, McKenna was very ambitious, came back strongly and caught Bullioni with a couple of right hands. Now, I've just got one little point to, to put to you two guys. It's eight wins uh, out of eight, but Billy Joe, he's only had 20 professional rounds, though. Good or bad thing? Uh, you know, he, he can't help who he knocks out. You know, he's, he's heavy-handed, and... Um I think he's going to struggle to get rounds because I, I, I do a lot of sparring with him and that and um, you know he's learning all the time and he's got a lot a lot of heart Frank has and today you see him not tonight rather you see him in there trying things out a couple of times he got caught but that's only because he's trying things out he tried and made them work knocked him out when you spar with him yeah. what do you put down as his real qualities I'll just beat him up every day <laughs> uh, and he, 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 love now, it love it now, he, listen, <laughs> we have a sponge you know what he, he's got so much art and he's he's willing to learn all the time uh, and it, it's good spars it's very very good spars and uh, I, I enjoy it and I know he definitely enjoys it you know we can both learn from it but you know he's very very heavy-handed yeah and, and Steve, he is heavy-handed, yeah. but uh, mm -hmm. we have a little look here. He's also the wise guy, is a bit susceptible to an overhand yeah, right. We've said that before, I think, I've, um, <laughs> before at the round, but I mean, his, his head movement was, was a bit better tonight, but he was still getting caught. But you know what? In that corner, he's got a college of knowledge with Jimmy and Mark Tibbs. So I'm sure that's something that they can eradicate and will get eradicated. And I'm sure um, Billy Joe can tell us more about that, because he, he's with them. I'm, I'm, sure that, I'm sure that's a problem <coughs> that you do notice in the gym. Well, um, our every performance, you know, it's, it's Jimmy and Mark, they'll set you down the, and, you know, they'll go through the things you did wrong. I'm sure Mark will pick out a few things, but you've got to look at a lot of things he did right as yeah. well tonight. You know, the head movement and yeah. trying things out, slipping to the body, you know, the body shots. I hey. thought he was going to stop him with a body shot at one that, stage. That, that, that says a lot about him, you know, because he's hurt the guy with body shots in the second round and finished it off with a head shot. So yeah. the, that, that, that is the proof in the pudding about his power. And, of course, it's unrealistic for us to stand up and say he shouldn't be getting hit. I mean, yeah. it's, it's the hitting game yeah. that, that you guys are in. But as you say, let's look at the good things. Well, we will. We'll have a look, have a look at the finish of it, and you have a look at the finish of it. This is the end of the fight, Billy Joe. You see, he's, he's, he's let his opponent come forward. It's just over the top there, out the blue, you know, switching from head to body. And look, perfect. He's brung it up and over. That's perfect. He's, uh, and do you know what? He's good at them shots, bringing them up and over. Uh, I've been caught for a few myself in the gym. But, you know, he's, uh, he, he's a real strong, good fighter, and real good willed art fighter. You know, he's going to go a long, long way. Absolutely. And a good fighter will go a very long way is uh, down at the other end of the ring, talking to Alex. Yeah, there's a bit of a debriefing going on. Uh, Frank, another knockout, though. What's that, six and eight? Yeah, that's right, six and eight. So, um, yeah, obviously punching hard, but need to rectify a few of the uh, fundamental boxing issues and not get caught so much yeah. and um, come back with quicker counters. What sort of stuff have you been working in in the gym? Uh, I've been working on the jab a lot. Um, had some good heavy sparring with strong boys coming forward. Um, working on going on the back foot a little bit more and throwing good counters. And it worked in there, but took a little bit too long to get into my momentum. So, how, how important were those body shots? Yeah, well, they obviously they slowed him down. He's, he's a strong boy, Darren. I've seen him fight a few times. And he takes a lot of stopping when he comes forward. So um, the body shots obviously just drain a little bit of the wind and the strength out of him. Let's bring Francis in as well. Team Bullioni were here in full voice up there uh, tonight, packing the stands again. What are you making of his progress and how's that going to develop over the next year or so? First of all, huge thanks to, again to Team Bullioni. Um, you know, he's. Uh, getting bigger and bigger every 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 fight is um, every show he's, he's fighting on um, in terms of progress like Mark said you know there's still things to work on but overall an impressive performance I think um, taking a couple too many shots for my liking but the ones that he, he, he dished out from you know for me were you know obviously telling and um, he got the spot stoppage that he was looking for yeah very much so I guess that's a belated birthday present isn't it yeah that's it so I can celebrate my birthday now excellent listen well done lads thank you very much well, after Frank Capulioni, one more live fight still to come from the Royal Britannia show here at Wembley Arena. It features the return.